Walter gave up when his beloved cat didn't return home after a few years. He still thought of his cat every day and hoped she was at least all right. One day when the cat returned, he barely recognized his cat. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. It had seen some terrible things, and the heavy bag in her mouth topped it all. What was inside of it is something Walter will never forget. She refused to let it go, and Walter was shocked to see his cat so terribly changed. Walter should have known the cat was carrying something truly remarkable. It took him days to even grab it, as his cat refused to let go of it. When Walter finally managed to do so, it all made sense. He couldn't control his emotions and kept thinking back on who could be responsible for this. His cat didn't come home with this after being lost for long without a reason. After seeing what was inside of it, Walter just wanted his cat to act and feel normal again. Not only did the poor animal lose her home a few years ago, but it was also very apparent to Walter that she'd known nothing like a home in these past years, all because of a bag. But what was inside this bag? Who was responsible for it? And why was Walter so terribly shocked to see it? Because it's been two years since Walter lost his beloved cat, He's no longer worried about the cat. He accepted that the cat either tragically died or is living somewhere else now. Walters looks outside and sees some sort of stray cat in front of his door. Still, the cat looked familiar. And of course, it was his lost cat. It was walking around, sniffing the doorway and loudly meowing. Walter is shocked, but over the moon as well. He makes his way to the door right away. Walter is not planning on holding back and is approaching his long lost cat to hug her. Why would she have come back to her home? Then when Walter comes close, he sees the bag. Walter tries grabbing it, but his cat doesn't allow it. She had always been such a sweet cat. What happened to her? And what was she trying to protect? Walter decides to keep his distance from the cat. He doesn't want to come across as hostile toward his cat. He was happy enough to know she was alive in the first place. He opens the front door to let her in. She comes in, but remains close to the door, with the bag still in her mouth. What in God's name could be in there? Walter decides to go to bed, leaving his cat to settle. When Walter comes down the next morning, he sees his cat in the exact same position. The cat looks at Walter with great hesitation and starts to hiss once he gets closer. Walter realizes the cat is far from the cat he remembered and realizes to what degree his poor cat has become a wild cat. But the bag is what made her this hostile, and soon after, Walter realizes that. Walter decides to go to the vet without the cat to give her some more time to settle and perhaps let go of the bag. He asks the vet for advice, or perhaps even medicine, to make the cat a bit more approachable. The vet reacts quite overwhelmed. Walter immediately asks him why, as his reaction worries him. The vet then proceeded to tell him that over the last few months, he had heard more stories like these. Cats would disappear and come back with a bag or some sort of item. Walter doesn't know what he's hearing and asks the vet how it ended. The vet doesn't respond at first, but Walter keeps insisting he wants to know what to expect and whether his dear cat is in danger. He repeats his question. The vet hesitates but doesn't respond again and turns his back to him. Finally, the vet turns around. He tells Walter about these former cases. He tells Walter how he tried to reach the owners but couldn't get a hold of them. He tells Walter to make sure not to let that happen again. Feeling somewhat lost, Walter returns home. Still, he has some hope. Not all is lost, as his cat is at least home again. He never expected this and managed to feel grateful, despite the alarming words of the vet. Little did Walter know, an ugly surprise was awaiting him. Because when Walter returns home, he can't find his lost cat anymore. He checks every corner of the house but can't find the cat. After a while, he decided to look for clues of a possible burglary. He wasn't entirely wrong. When he arrives in the kitchen, he's shocked to see his window standing wide open. He couldn't have done this himself. Before he goes outside, he checks whether he's missing anything. After all, he can't alarm the police just because of a missing cat that had been gone before in an open window. But he's surprised to see everything in its rightful place. The burglary either terribly failed, or its complete mission was to take the cat. We all know which one it was. Walter evaluates every crazy little thing that happened in the last 24 hours. He comes to one rightful conclusion. There must be something about that bag. The cases that the vet mentioned proved that, according to Walter, he had to find his cat soon before it was too late. 
Walter starts to look around the neighborhood. He brought the cat's favorite food and is optimistic about his chances. After all, the cat can't be far away. Luckily, Walter finds his cat. The cat looks somewhat dumped, in a box behind a large mailbox. Did the cat go there herself of, was the taken and eventually dumped? Walter simply didn't know, but one thing he knew for certain, the cat still didn't let go of the bag. Luckily, his cat recognizes him and lets him take her home. Finally, the cat is acting like her old self again. Walter's care for her convinced her of his good intentions, and she allowed him to lay her on the couch. She starts spinning and eats her favorite food again. Finally, after 20 minutes, she lets go of the bag. Inside the bag is a mouse. The mouse is still alive as Walter's cat never intended to eat it, but to protect it. Walter takes it outside and the mouse immediately runs off. As it turned out, no one broke into his home. It was his brother who was around and needed to use the phone, but he didn't bring his spare key. Walter and his two cats lived happily ever after.